This story is one of the most recent, as it happened just a year ago and caused a wave of demonstrations across the country. In addition to that, this story shows how far a person is capable of satisfying his worst sexual fantasies. This is the case of Fatima Cecilia. It was Tuesday, February 11, 2020, everything was happening normally in Mexico City, like Fatima Cecilia Aldriguez Anton, just 7 years old, who was preparing to go to school like another day. A few hours later, her mother, Maria Magdalena Anton, had an incident, which caused her not to arrive on time to her daughter's school since it was usual for her to be in charge of going to school to get Fatima to take her from back home. But nevertheless, the day when she got to school, she realized that she was no longer there. So after communicating with several of her relatives, they told her not one of had seen her, except for one of her, who told her that she had seen Fatima in the company of a man. When she knew this, she automatically went to the mayor office of her city to report the disappearance of her daughter, but the authorities could not do much since they told her that they had to spend 72 hours first. The next day, and still not knowing anything about her daughter, Maria went back to the mayor office as since they could not do much, they referred her case to the prosecutor's office for missing persons, where the Amber Alert was issued. But after a few days, she was modified, since she was not a person of the male sex, if not female. A few hours later, Maria appeared at the office of C5, where the security cameras of the city were observed, where it can be observed at the 6.13 in the afternoon, the girl is walking next to the person of the female sex, in the street called Belisario Dominguez. After that, the video was shown in all the media, and the spoken portrait of the suspect was also produced. And these are some of the pictures that are mentioned. A day later, the city police were in charge of investigating in detail near the places where the little girl disappeared. And it is just at that moment where new clues began to come to light where neighbors of the place gave permission that their security cameras could be observed. And in one of the videos, the girl can be seen talking with the suspect, a clear clue that the girl knew the suspect for a long time. In another of the videos, you can see how they get into a white Zuru car on Melchoro Campo Street. And a few minutes later, I can be seen in another camera that the car stops on the white road where the boat descended and were never seen again. A few days later, the information spread that at the school, the youngest of her was allowed to go with a woman since she came to pick her up. It also began to spread on social networks that the person in the spoken portrait was a her great aunt. But it took very little time for that person to show his face and say that she had nothing to do with the disappearance of Fatima. And that was how she was discarded from her case, since she did indeed have no relationship with Fatima. On February 15, 2020, the police got to report of the appearance of a body of a little girl of approximately 7 years old, which was found inside a sack. Experts also came to the scene to effectively confirm that the body was Fatima. Three days later, on February 18, the authorities managed to locate the address where the events took place. And where, just after entering, the clothes worn by both the victim and the suspect were found. And that was how the identity of the suspect was discovered, which was Gladys Giovanna Cruz Hernandez and her husband Mario Alberto Reyes Najera. The photographs began to be exhibited in the media and social networks. 
but there was only one problem, and it was that the suspect did not look anything like the spoken portrait, so there was love and confusion as to whether she was really the suspect or not. Bex, just after committing the crime, fled together with their children to the town of La Palma, in the municipality of Isidro Favela in the state of Mexico, known for the home of one of Mario Aunts. Upon arrival, they told her aunt that they needed a place to live, but that they want privacy, so the aunt's proposal that they stay and live with her was rejected. So her aunt decided to offer them a room that she had so that they could stay and live for a couple of days in which they were looking for a better place. Until then, her aunt knew nothing of the crime they had committed, but it was until Wednesday, February 19, when her aunt was watching TV when the news came of a Gladys photo, but it was not until the show with the photo of Gladys. His nephew, when he confirmed that the suspects were indeed his nephew and his wife. So she decided to go down to face her nephew and her wife, whether they had been capable of committing such an atrocity. To which Mario replied saying that she had been his wife. Hearing that, his wife began to cry, confirmed that it was indeed her. So she told them they had to turn themselves in, but since Mario refused to do that, his aunt had to come up with a plan. First he told Mario that he had to help abandon his wife in the bush, so he asked him to leave that room. It was at that moment when Gladys took the opportunity to help him to help her, says yes, and then she had committed the crime, but it had been because her husband had forced her. Six days ago, he had told her that he wanted to have a young girlfriend, and that, if he didn't get it, he would donate one of his daughters. Hearing this, the aunt told Mario to say goodbye to Gladys, since in a few minutes they were going to have to hand her over to the police. And while they were saying goodbye, Mario aunt took the opportunity to go outside to ask for her, and found her sister and her brother-in-law and asked them to help her contact the police. Back home, she found them very anxious because they did not know what to do with her, so she told Mario that before she left her, she had to help her abandon her wife in the bush, to what Mario accepted. So leaving the house, they began to walk towards that mountain, but what they did not count on was that the police were heading towards where they were. And it only took a couple of minutes for the police to come to the scene and proceed to arrest the murders. One of the most recent cases in Mexico and that shows human cruelty at its best. Well, as Gladys said, Mario would have been capable of abusing his own children. And that, by the way, after being picked off by the thief, they discovered that those children had also suffered abuse by Mario. This video has been created for informational purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I hope you subscribe to this channel. Says goodbye, forgotten in the night.